All right, so we're still here at AIM 2017, and I've got Corey and Lori from Engine and Frame in Richmond, Virginia. How are you guys doing? Nailed it. Yeah, I, I had to like, I was like, it's such a cute little rhyming. <laughs> I'm gonna put closed captions on you. Just like, just shut, <laughs> just shut. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how's it going? What brings you to Aim? Uh, Brian from Skidmark. Okay. Um, did you guys like? Did he like throw you in the back of his van? Yes. Yeah, like, you're coming actually. with me. Yeah, he actually drove the from Cleveland to Richmond to kidnap us, and then came back. No, we've. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brian is responsible for it. I don't really know when it started happening, but we've kind of like for lack of a better term, formed like a union of community garages in, uh, I guess in the world, because we got some Canadians in there. Okay. And there's one in, uh, in uh, St. George. St. St. George is a town in Utah. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. But there's a couple in yeah. other places. Yeah, I Canada. think there's one in Ireland now. Yeah. There's some in Canada. Yeah. And we just kind of created uh, Network. Yeah. A network, yeah, like an alliance of communication yeah. between all of us. Yeah. Cool. So we're all trying to do the same. So, for for the people out there that don't know, and for me, because I may not know, what is a community garage? You, it is a space that is provided for you to come and work on your own. Okay, so like, I want to do a project on my bike. I or you want to change your oil. You know change, what I mean? Yeah. From, from every like. From like the smallest maintenance things, you like walk, if you wanted to build a bike, like okay. we offer that too. Do um, I need tools? No, we have. You got all the tools. You're good at this. You're good at this. Okay. Um, what if I don't know how to do something? Well, then you're shit out of luck. <laughs> all right, <laughs> just go home. No, I mean that's. Yeah, but it'll sell. It'll, it'll tell you everything. We, we try to encourage people to bring their manuals. We do answer yeah. questions, and, and like, I basically tell people like, I'm gonna do my best to make sure you don't screw up your work. That sounds you know fair. What I mean? Yeah. Oh. It, so it, we it, also encourage everybody to work together. If you yeah. have a question, if you don't know how to do something, and there's somebody else in the shop also working on their bike, we encourage that community aspect. Sure. There's like kind of an expectation of like help each other out, coming other. together. Right. Yeah. You know, um, and to not discourage learning yeah. in that environment. Yeah. I, I know that there's definitely some people out there that don't really want to share their knowledge with anybody else. Right. It doesn't sound like you're that kind of place. <laughs> no, no. And I think I think it's important for people to understand what actually goes into it. Yeah. Like in some weird sense, you know, like you I, I mean I'm I'm a professional mechanic and you hear people complaining about about like labor rates or whatever. And then when people actually get into it, and then we realize, oh, that's what I'm actually paying for is that knowledge, you know, yeah. that expertise. Like, that's why dealerships charge what they charge. Sure. Or, or the independent shop charge whatever they charge is because they know. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if, if we had just any random motorcycle here in the show, right here in front of us, and you said to me, okay, I need you to do a valve job on it, I would go, okay, I, I sort of know what that is. Right. And I've been working on my own motorcycle for, you know, a decade. And I'm, I'm still not like, okay, sure, let me do that and get it done real quick. Like, it'd probably take me four or five hours to do it. You know, you... But that's 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 a great example, though, because then people understand. They, they go in to do their valve job, and it takes them six hours. And they're like, oh, shit, that was a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and the idea of having it at a community garage, not only do you have a professional, professional mechanic helping you to walk through those steps, but it's not a YouTube video where they gloss over the quick, yeah. easy fix, and it's yeah. done in three minutes. It's, it's everything step by step, and when you mess something up, there's somebody there to say, oh, you got to do this now to fix the thing you just missed. <laughs> Right, yeah. I mean, there's times when you're you're reading a manual, yes. and it says, like, remove the engine. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't tell you how to do any of it. It's like, step one, remove engine from motorcycle. Right. That's a specialty that's, tool, you know, OEM number 562. Yeah. Know, like, what is that? Where does that even end? That's another thing I tell people where they're like, well, what should I bring? I'm like, get a manual. I will help. I speak manual very well. That's, you know what I mean? The shop manuals are definitely written towards a mechanic, oh, not absolutely. towards, like, you know, a layperson. Right. Absolutely. I mean, shit, there's... I still read manuals from time. Like, what in the hell is that? Because a lot of, like, companies will name their parts, like, different stuff than yeah. another company will. I'm, I'm an aircraft like, mechanic. And fair enough. I, we, none of the parts make any sense. Like, you'll, if, if, if I came to you, like, oh, that's this part. 
and then you look it up in our manual, not called that at all. That part, yeah, exactly. Same thing. Same thing. Um, so I do tell people that I speak manual to help them decipher. Yeah. So, um, how does somebody how does somebody become a part of your community garage if they're in the Richmond area and they want to? take part in this glorious enterprise. Just show up. Man. Yeah, Tell that's us. the first step. Yeah. Actually come by. <laughs> um, put some money on the table. <laughs> Commit yourself to uh, all the work that it's going to take to do the job that you want to do. So how does you guys, like, does it do, do you pay for, like, a certain amount of time? Yeah, we do like, hourly, we do monthly, um, $15 an hour to use the space. Um, and then we started offering a $60 a month option versus $120 a month. Both are available. The $120 includes storage, yeah. so you okay. can leave your bike there the whole time. Projects. Projects. Sure. Or, are, you know, something that's going to yeah, take longer than there. A few hours. Well, they're $60 a month is more to, to encourage maintenance. Are they going to bring you yeah. something? No. Okay. Um, like to that. Do you guys have a website? Sure. Yeah, $60. Thank you. Do, do you guys have a website? Yes. Yeah. So, like, if, if I'm too afraid to show up, that you're, you Which know, common, you know we have Richmond. an Instagram too. It's yeah. Richmond. We have like Facebook it. too. We have all of this. Okay. Like Twitter. Is it engine website. and well, what's the website? Engine and frame. Dot com. Dot com. I actually www. Oh yeah. Because I think it's World Wide Web. Maybe. So, yeah. I think. I don't know. I'm not. I don't not do too that. internet savvy. Um, but I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. So your engine and frame on Instagram? Yep. And Facebook, I'm assuming you type in engine and frame? Yep. I'm detecting a theme here. Uh, your branding is, is strong. No one no one took it yet. So oh. Yeah, you are also hard to get. It's surprising that nobody has picked up engine and frame. Just engine or frame. Just one of each. <laughs> there is actually an engine or frame dot com. No, I don't know. That would be really funny though. Alright, so once again, Corey and Lori, thanks for talking to us. Uh, Engineandframe.com or Engine and Frame on all of the appropriate or inappropriate social networks of your choice. <laughs> Have a good one.